hello my dear friends welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to describe two dimensional array in my previous video i have already described one dimensional array if you want that video kindly go to my description section and find that video now i have described what is two dimensional array the definitions of two dimensional array can be defined as an array of arrays the 2D array is organized as matrices which can be represented as the collection of rows and columns. However, 2D array are created to implement a relational database lookalike data structure. It provides easy of holding the bulk of data at once which can be passed to any number of functions whatever required. Actually, we can use the two-dimensional array to represent any tables where any number of rows and columns can be implemented using the two dimensional array. Now, I have described what is the concept of two dimensional array. Actually, 2D array is nothing, it is a matrix. We know the matrix, this is a 3 cos 3 matrix. This is row 0, row 1, row 2, column 0, column 1, column 2. And the elements are defined inside this matrix and the cell numbers can be represented as row 0 column 0 that is x00 here x is the name of a two dimensional array row 0 column 1 x01 row 0 column 2 x02 row 1 column 0 x10 row 1 column 1 x11 row 1 column 2 x12 row 2 column 0 x20 row 2 column 1 x21 row 2 column 2 x22 proceeding in this way we can design a three cost matrix and in c language we can define a two dimensional array int x 3 third bracket 3 third bracket 3 here first third bracket defines the row second third bracket defines the columns these definitions declare a two dimensional array of size 3 cos 3 now i have described how to initialize the two dimensional array here we have declared an integer array name is x first subscript is dynamic and third uh, second subscript is we can define it as 3 that is it can take three number of columns and we can initialize this matrix in this declarations that is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80, 90 we can initialize these as a row wise that is first row defined as 10 20 30 second row defined as 40 50 60 third row defined as 70 80 90 and all the values are defined inside this block and this is a 3 plus 3 matrix now I define that how to implement it using C language. In C language, we define a 2D array name is X and we initialize this two dimensional array and using the for loop we can print the value. In this program, we take nested for loops. First for loop that is for i equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. It implements the row concept and second for loop for j equal to 0, j less than 3, j plus plus it implement the column concept that is when i equal to 0 and j equal to 0 it print 0 0 cell print the value of 10 when i equal to 0 j equal to 1 it print within 0 1 cell value 20 when again i equal to 0 j equal to 2 it printed 30 proceeding in this way we again we print the next next row and we implement the next row by using the new line that is when i equal to 0 j equal to 0 it printed 40 when i equal to 1 j equal to 1 it printed 50 when i equal to 2 j equal to 0 it printed 60 again we implement the next row that is we input it as slash line slash line define that the new line that is when i equal to 2 j equal to 0 to print 70 when i equal to 2 j equal to 1 we print 80 when i equal to 2 j equal to 2 we print 90 
this is the initialization program we can do it as easily now i define that how to take inputs inside the two dimension array to do this we first declare a two dimension array x33 this is a three cos three matrix then i define that in the elements then again we define that nested for loop first for loop defines row second for loop defines columns that is when i equal to 0 j equal to 0 here in the cell numbers x plus minus plus g i j when i equal to 0 j equal to 0 that is x 0 0 we take the value 10 again when i equal to 0 j equal to 1 0 1 we take the value 20 when i equal to 0 j equal to 2 we take the value 30 again when i equal to 1 j equal to 0 when i equal to 1 j equal to 0 we take the value 40 when i equal to 1 j equal to 1 we take the value 50 when i equal to 1 j equal to 2 we take the value 60 again when i equal to 2 j equal to 0 we take the value 70 when i equal to 2 j equal to 1 we take the value 80 when i equal to 2 j equal to 2 we take the value 90 after taking the inputs we print the value using the nested for loop when i equal to 0 j equal to 0 we print the 00, 0 cell and 00, 0 cell contains the value 10 we can hide i equal to 0 j equal to 1 we print the 0 1 cells 0 1 cell contains 20 again when i equal to 0 j equal to 2 0 2 cells contains value 30 print the value 30 <coughs> we print the uh, next row by using the slash and command and implementing the next again initialize the value of i equal to 0 sorry i equal to 1 and j equal to 0 that is 1 0 columns print the value is 40 i equal to 1 j equal to 1 mm. 1 1 value print value 50 mm. i equal to 1 j equal to 2 1 2 value print value 60 Again, we implement the next row using the slash and common i equal to 2 j equal to 1 I equal to 2 j equal to 1 we print the value 70 i equal to 2 j equal to 1 we print the value 80 i equal to 2 j equal to 2 we print the value 90 proceeding in this way we can print a 3 cost matrix i hope you enjoyed that video thank you all see you again in next video